A ho game making warriors. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to start the the Stroids series. It's going to be a long series cuz it's actually a pretty good sized game. Cuz not it's going to be a lot like those other asteroid games except for it's going to have a lot more stuff to it. So, um trying to figure out how I want to start this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start I'm going to start making a few scripts. And a lot of these first episodes are going to be just setup stuff. So, I'm going to create a script. And I'll call this one variable scripts. Or variable variable functions. And this is going to have the global functions. It'll just be global vars and there'll be vars function. And there's going to be quite a few global variables, which I don't normally recommend a whole lot, but I figured it'd make it easier to understand how things are working. So I'll go global. I mean, there's not going to be a lot in this one, but just startup variables and I'll say global global dot fade equals nothing I'm gonna have a fade in and out from the rooms and there's gonna be four rooms there's gonna be your splash room your title room you'll be a game room and then a credit room for when it ends and then it will have uh, for the menu, I'll have a menu object. So it'll just load up. So global, I want a section area. And that will equal empty string at this point. And I'll have global sound on equals uh, true. You start out the game. And at this point in time, I think that's all I'm going to have in the global variables. And now I'm going to create another function. And it's just going to be called vars. And this will be, if you've seen any of my other tutorials on this, uh, so that I can always call to the room width and room height. So if I decide to change the size of the room I can just call to it and it'll pick it up um, room width equals rw equals room width I'm gonna do the same thing room height I'll just make it rh and then I'll make um uh, room half room width equals room width divided by two and same for the height I may even add some more in here for the viewport because I'm going to be using viewports for this um, half room height equals room height divided by two okay so there's that that script. I'm also going to make another script. And this one will just call general functions. And let's rip this stuff out. And to begin with, I think, let's see, I want to have a create rooms function in it. Which a lot of these scripts that I've been writing, I've done in the Hogster Hoarders. You don't really need to go through those if you're going to go through this. Create instance. Um, and in here, I want... The only thing that's that you actually have to put in is uh, object. By default, I'm going to set it to x equals half room width. Uh, y will half room height and then 
but it's going to be creating a layer instance. So I'll just say layer equals. And I could have made it where you choose whether it's a layer or depth, but I think I'm just going to do this for now. And I'll just throw stuff on the instances layer. And I'm just going to copy and paste what is required for it. So you're going to need your object. Well, it's not required, but it'll show you. The only thing required is the object itself. That's it. And I'll just say instance, create layer, and I'll do X, Y, layer, and the required object. If you notice, it takes a lot less code nowadays with the new stuff, with the function stuff that's going on now. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to create another function. And I'm gonna, it's just going to be play sound. So you don't have to type out a bunch of stuff. And we'll use... Um, Sound the sound of course is required and then just uh loop you want to loop it's basically the same thing as before if you were to just call the regular sound play except for this one doesn't need the loop information um it'll be false And let's see. Let's make sure the audio group, because I may, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say if global dot sound on. So instead of asking if the sound is on when you play the sound, once you, once you go to this function, if the sound is off, it just won't play it. Otherwise, you'd have to ask if the sound is on or if the sound is off every time you call to a sound. Uh, play sound. And we'll grab our sound. And the priority, I'll just set to 1. Now, I could have added that to the when you call to the function, set its priority. But I'm just going to set them all to 1. Okay, there's function two. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for this for this episode. I'll be adding more later. Okay, we can close that stuff down. Okay, good. So now I'm going to go ahead and in our room. I'm going to call this room, Room Splash. Open that up. I'm just going to set it to 1280 by 720. That's what I always do. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to create some groups. Um, I should add some fonts. Let's add some groups first. Just so we have our folders all ready to go. So in sprites, I'm just going to go... Uh, where is it at? Create group. And I'll say game. Sprites. And I'll do it again. Create group. And this will be general sprites. And I'll do it again. And it'll be menu rights. And I'll do it again. And this will be splash sprites. Oops. And I'll make one more for the sprites. 
and we'll just call it title sprites. Okay, there's the folders for those. Um, I'm going to do the same thing in the objects. So I'll make another group. I'll call it game objects. I'll make another one here. I'll call it uh, game over. I should call it I should call it credit sprites, but that'll be fine. You can change it later. The game over oh the game over objects is just gonna have one object in it anyways. Um create another group. Make it general objects. Create a let's see, create a group splash objects. And then one more for title objects. And I'll have all the everything that I'm using, I'm going to have in an assets folder on my website. And um, I will probably be updating it. So each, um, each series that you watch, or not series, but each episode that you watch, you may want to upload the new version as I go along here because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do stuff yet so okay so those are the object the script the rooms and I'm going to do the same thing in the sounds folder a group game sounds Uh, we'll create our splash sounds, and we'll create. Oops, um, our title sounds. Even though there's only like one or two for each one of those things. Um, could add, I'll do it anyways. Game over sounds. Because I actually have a little sound effect that I use when the game is over. So it's a little friendly message. <clears throat> okay, now let's get back into the objects. And in the splash objects, I'm going to create an object. I can do anything with it really, but I'm just going to call it object splash control. And in the title, I'll add another one here. I'll call it object title control. Um, uh, the game, create a game control, object game control, and let's go ahead and put one into game over, create object, object game over control. Okay, close those. Now, I'm going to want, in the general objects, I'm going to create an object. Uh, the first one will just be object controller. And I'll make another one. This will be object fade. I could have kind of combined those if I really wanted to but I kind of want to make it so that it's it's easy to understand and I'll make one more and this will be object menu control and this is going to the menu control is going to show your controllers and 
either exit or continue the game. That's why I don't have a menu room. It's just going to stop everything and it's going to shoot out that, that controller. And it should be able to be used anywhere. Which I think in this game we just... It'll only be used in the title and in the game itself. Okay, so let's get back into... I'm back in my rooms in the room splash. And I'm going to get into the creation code. And the first thing I want to do... Oh, you know what? Let's get back into our scripts. Did I do this? In our variable functions... I want to add a randomize up here. Randomize. Because, and global variables is only going to be called once when the game starts. So it um, creates all the variables that we're going to need in our game. And But we want it to randomize the whole game. So that when you're playing the game, it's not all exactly the same. Right? Okay. So, let's get back in our room creation code. And I'm going to call to the global vars. And then I'm also going to call to the vars. So we know our width and height of our room. And I'm going to say create instance, which is that, that function we created. And I'll say object fade because we're going to have it fade in and I'll add create instance instance object splash control and uh, before I edit the splash screen I'm going to go ahead and copy it a couple times a few times uh, let's just duplicate it and this one will be room title and duplicate this one room game and we'll do one more room game over now in each one of them, I got to go in and change the creation code. So I'm in the room game, and actually I probably shouldn't have copied them just yet, <laughs> because we don't need the global vars anymore. We don't need the object fade. What we need here is the game control. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Okay, so that's for the room game. Uh, in the room game over, just copy it over, and it'll be game over control, which is, we've made all these. So they're all ready to go. And we'll do the same thing with the room title. Creation code. Only it'll be object title control. Okay, so those are all ready to go for magic to happen. And in the in the objects, the game objects, I'm going to add one more group and it'll be in the game objects. Create group and I'll just make this um, enemy objects just to kind of separate everything when we get to that point okay so i think the next thing i want to do is create the fonts that i want to use so i'll create a font oh there it is and it'll, i'll just keep it at arial default regular i'll just make it uh but i'll make it 10. um and we'll call that one Font GUI. Um, I'll make another one. 
we'll call this one font uh, GUI bold. And this one will be same thing, only bold. Not exactly sure if I'm going to use it, but might as well have it on hand, right? Okay. Um, let's make one more font. And this one will be font logo. Okay. And this one I'm going to use the comic. So I really like the comic sans. I know it sounds silly. Um, let's make it bold. And I'll make it 24. Size. And I think that's good. We'll see. And I'm going to make one more. And call it good. Uh, font. This one will be Saint Ariel Bold. I'll just make it 18. And we'll just call it, I'm just going to call it font text. Okay. We got our basic files set up. Now, I think I'm going to start with the splash. Let's get the splash going. Okay. So first things first. Um, Oh, I want to bring in a sprite. So, I'm going to go ahead and create a sprite. Um, and let's call it, I'm just going to call it sprite. Uh, space background. And we'll import it. And yeah, let's get to uh, my file. Let me put it assets. And I got a file in here called space background. Uh, shut the frame rate off. And that should be fine. Now in our room splash on our background, I'm just going to use that. Sprite, sprite, splash gown. And there it is. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add a create new filter effect layer right here. A little magic wand looking thing. That on there. Um, the effect I'm going to use is going to be the underwater. And as you can see, it's already doing something. But I'm going to change its colors. The tint color, I'm just going to make white. And the add color, I'm going to make black. So it kind of scrambles around there. It's just kind of cool, I guess. And I'm going to make another one, but it's going to be above the instances. So I'll just click the little magic wand again. And this one, I'm going to add some wind blow. Now de by default, it has that little um, leaf. Matter of fact, I'm going to rename these two. It's going to be water. And this one will be, let's call it wind. But I'm going to go ahead and make an effects sprite. And I'll put it in the general sprites. Create sprite, which you've probably seen me do this a bunch of times. I'm just going to call it effect. Which I'll be using it throughout the game for other things too. And I'll just set it to one by one. Probably use it for the fade too. And let's edit it. Let's color it. Whoops. That's ready to go. Okay, now on our wind, let's change that sprite to sprite effect. And I'm going to change some things in here. The particle, I'm going to make its size, sprite scale. Make it 5 by 5. And I want the trail, draws trail only. Okay, we can even give that a try right now.
Okay, I believe I screwed something up here. Okay, let's open up our variable functions in, a, in our scripts. I just realized something. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed up pretty good here. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't give these values. I think that's what's going on. Oh, okay. I see a problem here. No, it's in the general functions. In the scripts. The general functions. If you look, I made that X. It should be underscore X. Um, let's see. We have something else going on here. I think that should work. Let's give that a try. Okay, that's what we got so far. Just kind of a weird effect. Okay, so that's getting started. Um, before I move on with the room, I want to open up. Okay, I'm in our objects, our general objects. I'm going to open the object controller. And I want to make sure, I'm going to click on right here, the parent. And on the children down here, I'm going to make all our, our room controllers uh, children. So there's my game control. Uh, game over. Is that what I want? Yeah. Um, splash control. And our title object so they're always the children and then uh, because I'm going to write a bunch of code that they can utilize without having to repeat all the code which um, let's go ahead and add an event create say vars so they all will, will know the room width and height and by default I'm going to set alarm zero equals 30 um, um, I'm also going to do let's get back into our scripts in the general functions I'm gonna write another little script in here it's not a big deal we're not even there yet it's for mapping our keys so I'm going to create a fast function because I'm going to call to this when when we first start up. So function so it's in the system because the key um, the the object controller I think it's never loaded. But it's always running in the background. So key mapping. Which I know I've I've shown you guys this before. I'm just gonna copy and paste this stuff though. It's kind of repetitive. So all I'm doing is setting keyboard set map A equals VK left. So when I start using VK left and VK up and down for our ship, you can also use the ADWS. I'll probably add a bunch of key mapping going on here um, especially when I add the controller okay so let's get back into I'm in the object controller in the create and so I'm just going to call to it and um, yeah I gotta do the key the fade in fade out stuff like that so I think I'm gonna call that good for now and in the next one we'll move on getting getting everything set up so it fades in fades out nicely in going from room to room so yeah we're on our way we're on our way it's, it's just uh, like I said the first uh, bunch of Tutorials are kind of set up stuff. So, all right, I'm going to call this one good and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. All right, a ho!